12 midday, me and Jay just had coffee, got all our work done, we're on the way to get some water and then we're off to the gym. What are you doing today? I'm doing chest and back, bruv press bro. and then weighted pull ups. He's doing bruv press. I might do some legs and abs, my neck's a little bit sore. I don't know why, I think I'm going to have to do some rolling and myofascial release. Shoulder and pec minor is feeling super tight, so I'm going to do 10 minutes of myofascial release before I uh, get into the main part of my workout. Oh, this is not pleasant, baby. First up is squats. This is just a little warm-up set with the barbell. I've already done some um, lower body movements, like some body weight squats, lunges, and some hip flexor stretches just to get everything working. And today I'm doing back squats, five sets of eight reps. Haven't really been working the legs. Uh, lost strength here, like everything else, surprise, surprise. I'm doing 100 kilos for eight reps, which to be honest, felt kind of heavy, but I was moving the weight all right. It was challenging. And to be honest, I'm not doing squats to, you know, try and build size on my legs. Um, if anything, I want size more on my upper body. My legs are quite well developed. I've always been a bit of a chunky monkey downstairs on the old thighs and glutes. So this is more just like a calorie burn once a week. Keep the legs ticking over. Obviously doing legs is a good core exercise, but if you're in a fat loss phase, you should be doing squats. This is my second set from a different angle. Same thing again, eight reps, 100 kilos. But yeah, you need to be squatting. It doesn't matter what you're doing. You know, fat loss phase and muscle building phase, some type of squat, back squat, front squat, goblet squat with a dumbbell, whatever, just get squatting. But I prefer the back squat because it hits so many different muscle groups. You've got the quads, obviously, you've got the posterior chain as well, glutes, hamstrings, lower back, core muscles, even the shoulders by holding the weight in that position. Uh, so this is my second set. I did another three, I did another, sorry, another three sets after this, so five sets in total. But yeah, I found this hard. I was hard moving the weight, but I ground through because I'm a bad man. Yay. Here I am outside. They've got an outside part for deadlifts. So I'm like, I'm going to utilize this. And here I'm doing 100 kilos with some stiff leg deadlifts, eight reps again. But yeah, deadlifting in the California sun, living the dream, baby. Um, this is obviously great for hamstrings, for the bum, the glutes, again, lower back, core. Um, this is not going with raw strength, I'm not trying to go as heavy as possible. Again, I'm doing it more to expend energy so I can eat more food in the evening. Simple as that. Second set, and same thing from a different angle. If you've got my back here, it's nice and flat. A lot of mistakes that I see with people when they uh, deadlift is they try and crank their neck up when they're coming up and you want to keep everything in one straight line from your lumbar spine all the way up to your neck so um, you can see here I'm doing touch and go deadlifts where I just drop the weight down and drive back up again I've just found this really cool plyometric kind of jump track I'm gonna do a few sets to toast the legs <laughs> I'm gonna hit one of these builders bars. I brought a pack of six, which is pretty dangerous because I could do them all in one sitting, but I'm trying to stick to one, two a day max. 6 p.m. here, sun's going down, really nice sunset. I've been working, twerking all afternoon with my brother, working on a new program that I'm gonna release next month. Just checked my emails and I had a cool email actually. It was an interesting email. Someone asked me, how did you get into becoming an online coach? How did you go from a face-to-face -face trainer, a trainer on the gym floor, or training clients, you know, uh, in person to being an online coach and online trainer and to be honest I did it because I was forced into it because there's so much crap there's so much bollocks there's so much bullshit out there in this shady industry idiots selling fucking supplements that don't work you've got bullshit online plans like Weight Watchers Slimming World The Body Coach and a plethora of other crap that is short term gimmicks that don't work. They might give you short term results, but they're not gonna give you long term sustainable lifestyle where you can maintain a lean, healthy body. And basically, I'm gonna go on and keep hammering my ethos, which is tracking macros in a calorie deficit, strength training, and other tips and tricks like getting seven hours sleep a night, getting 10,000 steps a day, drinking two to three liters of water a day. That's really what you need to be doing. And other companies and trainers and programs and 
businesses will make you think you need this fat burner, this supplement, this type of workout. You need to be doing this and that. You need to detox. You need to have this juice. You need to have this food in your diet. It's all fucking bollocks. And then you know what? I'm not going to stop. If you're one of these trainers saying that you need to do a certain thing, you can't eat carbs after six, or you must only follow this certain way, this eating style, I'm fucking coming for you. I'm going to keep putting out content every single fucking day. I'm not going to give up. Why? Because I'm passionate about this. And I've been there. I've been one of those people that, you know, didn't know what to do. Follow this guy online, didn't get results. Follow that guy online, didn't get results. And I had to learn the hard way and I want to bring it to the masses that you don't have to fucking go around in circles following all these idiots telling you, oh, have a high fat diet, oh, do hip training, oh, cut carbs out. You don't have to do any of that at all. You don't have to live in deprivation and I want to show people that. <sighs> okay, that turned into a bit of a rant, but I'm passionate about this stuff, so that's why I became an online coach. I'm going to end the vlog here, guys. I'll see you tomorrow.